Hey guys, welcome back. In this lesson, I want to go over some of the different options and parameters that you can set, specifically referring to object styles and the line weight settings. To do that, we'll go into the Visibility Graphics settings. So click on the View tab and click Visibility Graphics, keyboard shortcut VG. Under Projection Surface and then Lines, each of these categories has different line strength values. So you can see duct placeholders runs from 1 to 16. And then they also have different colors and different patterns that you can choose. But when you see no override, you might ask, what is that? How are these depicted? By that I mean, when you go into change settings, if you have to override something, what are you overriding? What is the default? Well, if you look at the bottom of this window, you'll see object styles. Your object styles are basically your default settings for your visibility graphics. So once you actually start working with Revit, object styles is one of the first things you're going to want to modify in your project. So each of these different categories has its own line weight, line color, line pattern, material. So all of these different properties are going to have effects on how you display that information. And this is going to apply over any objects that you may have in your project, any elements. All these properties are going to come into play. You also need to consider what does a line weight of 2 mean? You know, what are these numbers? What do they stand for? So that's something you'll want to set as well. Because choosing a particular pattern or a particular color won't really do a lot of good until you know how thick it's going to be in the actual project. So obviously these numbers refer to line weight, but where exactly is the line weight defined? Well, let me show you. I'm going to close all these windows out, and then I'm going to go up to the Manage tab. The Manage tab contains all sorts of settings and data pertinent to our project. That includes units and parameters, and under Additional Settings you'll see line styles, line weights, line patterns, all different settings that you might need. Now, in later tutorials, we'll show you how to actually set up your own firm. But for now, I just want to show you what those different numbers mean. What a 1, a 2, a 5 line weight actually are. So when you click on line weights, you'll see a chart appear. And it shows you all the different values and scales in inches. If you design in the metric system, then this won't be in inches, it'll be either in millimeters or centimeters. So all these different values are actually the line weights at different scales. But you don't have to rely on just the preset scales. If you click Add, you can actually add more scales to your model line weights. And in addition, you can also customize the values of the line weights. So when you're starting up your own firm, this is one of the very first things that you're going to want to customize. So before you begin modifying your object styles or begin changing graphic settings, you really want to change the line weights first, because this is going to represent your entire firm. In addition, you can also customize the perspective line weights when you're looking at something in perspective, and the annotation line weights. So we won't be doing too much with these, but you can customize them based on the views that you want. So I have my line weights where I want, but just remember that you can click into any of these values and change them manually. But also remember that they're dependent upon scale. So depending on your view scale, your line weights are going to change. So if we change our view scale to 3 inches equals a foot, well first you'll notice the annotations change. But also if we zoom in, the line weight has changed. At a quarter scale view, this becomes even more apparent. Note how much thicker the lines are. At an eighth, it's even thicker. So just remember, as you change scales, your line weights are going to change. So you may need to go in and customize them the way we showed you. Alright, that is your lesson on object styles and line weight settings. We'll see you in the next lesson.